Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We are gathered to pray together and bring to God our deep concern about the crisis that the world is facing. Even as we cry, we know that God is faithful. We trust and know that he rules the world. Let us proclaim that God is sovereign by singing the hymn, Jesus Shall Reign. God our Father, we call on you like little children because we know that you love us and care for us like a loving parent. Because your son Jesus prayed to you as Father, so we pray this way. You created us to live with you and to ask for your help and guidance. Amen. Hear our, our cry, cry, Almighty God. God. Listen, Listen to our prayer. prayer. How long will we have to hide in our homes from this invisible enemy? Where will it strike next? And whom? And what if? Our screens relay a continuous escalation of suffering and death around the world. Panic and anxiety abound. Our souls are weary from the strain of the life-altering unknowns. Heavenly Father, from the depths of our pain and confusion, we cry out to you. From fear-filled hearts and anxious minds, we plead with you. Rescue us, Father of compassion and grace. We lift up our eyes to you, Lord God, the one who sits enthroned in heaven. Amen. The God who challenges us is also the God who encourages us. The God who confronts us is also the God who accepts us. 
Be assured that God is with us even now, accepting, guiding, and forgiving. Thanks be to God. Let us hear what God is saying to us today. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Let us pause for a moment of silence. Almighty God, in Jesus Christ you taught us to pray and to offer our petitions to you in his name. Guide us by your Holy Spirit that our prayers for others may serve your will and show your steadfast love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. On all who have contracted the virus, on all who have lost loved ones to this sickness, and are in mourning and anguish. On all who are unable to earn an income because their jobs have been suspended. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We cry out for healing and needed resources. We, we cry, cry out for comfort and peace. On all medical professionals and caretakers attending to those infected with the virus. On all scientists and technologists striving to find a vaccine and to make it available. On all leaders of institutions and governments as they make decisions to try and contain the virus. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. We pray for strength in the long and exhausting hours of labor. We, we pray, pray for wisdom, wisdom in the research, research and difficult decisions. decisions. On the most vulnerable of our society who are unable to buy extra food or get proper medical attention. On all disciples of Jesus Christ, discerning how to reflect his love to others within this crisis. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We plead for protection of health. We, we plead for all to remain, remain calm, calm and, kind. and kind. Please stand. Let us sing this hymn when I survey the wondrous cross.
life is sacred and precious in your sight. You are the God who sees us and sustains us. Nothing can separate us from the Father's unfailing love and kindness, not even sickness or the fear of tomorrow. You are our light as we walk in this darkness. We will remember to celebrate the beautiful gifts you have given us in this present moment. Almighty God, you are our rock, our refuge from the enemy, our hiding place. You calm our frantic thoughts and fill our despairing hearts with joy and strength. In your presence, living water springs forth in the wilderness. You restore our souls. Amen. Amen.